If you want to play it and see for yourself, I dare you. I dare you. I fucking dare you. I dare you. I dare you. But just one warning, you will not be happy. Okay. Rocky for the Sega Master System. The intro's kind of slow. The title card is pretty good, though. The detail put into Rocky here is quite impressive. They should have just had the game start here instead of that slow title scroll. First thing you do in the game is hit the punching bag. The game tells you it's to increase the punching power and improve the timing of your punches. When I watched the nerd do this part, I had a feeling that why he struggled was because he was supposed to alternate between the buttons as fast as possible. So that's what I did. Did it work? I don't know. I was alternating buttons, but he only did the hook, then randomly threw in some straight at the end. Fun fact, after this game, the punching bag went on to bigger and better things. Glad to see that some good came from this game. It's fight night. Apollo versus Rocky. Since I got over 60 during the training and got stronger, my punches shred through Apollo and I get a first round victory. If you thought that's how it was gonna go, ah, you're stupid. And so am I, cause I seriously thought that I had the game figured out. No, my punches don't do more damage. Hell, my punches barely even fucking land. You think I'm close enough to connect, but no. Oh, from the same distance, the AI can clean my clock. The hitboxes in this are atrocious. Sometimes I connect, other times I don't. The hitboxes will even disappear mid-combo. Luckily, it's the same for the AI. It's like this game's code is being held together with duct tape and peanut butter. The one thing the nerd stated in his review that, again, I find to be misinformation is... The worst thing about it is how you move. Unlike traditional control where if you push left, you go left, and if you push right, you go right, Rocky just weaves back and forth on his own. It doesn't make any sense at all. Yes, Rocky moves on his own, but you can also control him. It's just really janky. So I finally got past Apollo. I didn't knock him out, he just got disqualified for fucking the ring. Now he's jerking it. He's like... He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, mm, mm, mm. My next training session is the speed bag. This is to increase my punching speed. It's just more button mashing. Look at Rocky go. He's like a windmill in a tornado. And now he's like Tina Turner after she pissed off Ike. This is as far as I can make it. And I'm not gonna lie, I only played this for 15 minutes. And most of that time was fighting Apollo. That fight took forever. And I didn't lose, he just kept getting back up every time I knocked him down. So what's my verdict on this game? I hate it. It's just a button masher, literally one button. The training sessions do nothing. The hitboxes are some of the worst I've ever seen. You only have one attack. Yeah, I know you could have done other moves by pressing up or down, but only one of those worked and its range was no better than the standard attack. It's like Mickey said, you're gonna eat lightning and you're gonna shift the bed. Or something like that. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Tune in next week for Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2 for the NES and Ghostbusters for the Sega Genesis. Thank you to everyone who supports me over on Twitch as well. Greatly appreciate it. If you'd like to watch the challenge live, then follow me over on Twitch at Rocky Top Bob. Hope to see y'all there.